Hello guys, today we will describe about the topography of the lungs. We will describe about the scalotopy, the position of the lungs, the holotopy, everything in this video. First we will talk about the pronunciation of the lungs in many languages. So in English it is called lungs, in Latin it is called palmo and in Greek it is called pneumon. Let's start about the morphological part where we will describe about the surfaces, the lobes and the segments, the functions, the holotopy and the scalotopy. So first the surfaces. So the surface of lungs. It has total three surfaces of the lungs. The first is diaphragmatic surface because it is near to the diaphragm. The second surface it is the coastal surface and why it is called the coastal surface because it is present near to the ribs of our body. The third surface it is the medial surface and it is called medial surface because it is present medially to our body. Let's talk about the lobes and the segments. So as we know that there are two lungs right and left. So in right lung there are three lobes the upper real lobe and the lower lobe. So this picture shows the anterior portion of the lungs where we can see the apical segment which is top of these lungs. I especially underline it by the red marker so you can easily see the portion where we can see the apical segment in this anterior portion. This is the posterior segment of the upper lobe. Next is the anterior segment of the upper lobe. So the next lobe it is the middle lobe. We will discuss about the first segment it is the lateral segment middle segment of the middle lobe so the next lobe it is the lower lobe where we can see the first segment it is the apical segment the sixth number second one it is the medial or we can say the cardial and basal segment then the anterior basal segment of the lower lobe the little basal segment of the lower lobe and the last one it is the posterior basal segment of the lower lobe so these all were the lobes of the right lungs. Let's discuss about the lobes and the segment of left lung. So the difference between right lung and the left lung is the lobe. What is the difference? So in right lung we saw there is three lobes and in the left lung there is two lobes, the upper lobe and the lower lobe and this is the major difference. Now the upper lobe there is the first segment that is the apical segment. Then the posterior segment of the upper lobe which is present near it to the apical segment. Then the anterior segment of the upper lobe. This is the superior lingular segment of the upper lobe. And the last segment of the upper lobe that is the inferior lingular segment. Let's discuss about the lower lobe. So the first segment it is the superior segment of the lower lobe. The next segment it is the medial or we can say the cardial basal segment of the lower lobe as it is present medially. Next is the anterior segment of the lower lobe. Then the lateral basal segment of the lower lobe as it present laterally to the lung. And the last segment of the lower lobe is the posterior basal segment as it present posteriorly to the surface of the lungs. Now let's discuss about the holotopy of the lung. So what is holotopy? So it is basically the real position of the organ in the body. So on the anterior side of the lungs there is the presence of chest or the thoracic pleural or the pectoral cavity it is covered by the pleura. Let's talk about the scalotopy of the lungs. So what is scalotopy? Basically it is the presence of organ according to the skeleton or the bone of the body. The superior portion of the lungs it is present at the level of 3 to 4 cm above the first rib. Or we can simply say that it is 2 to 3 cm above the clavicle or the 7th cervical vertebra. Now let's talk about the scalotopy of the lungs. So in inferior position it is quite different in right and left lung. In right lung the inferior portion of the lung is present in between the 5th intercostal space. As it is the inferior portion of the left lung is present at the 6th rib. Let's discuss about the syntopy of the lungs. So what is syntopy? It is the present of the organ according to the other organ. So on the superior side, there is the presence of pleura, the subclavian artery and the vein. Simply near the surface of inferior lung, there is the presence of pleura, diaphragm and in the right lung, there is liver and left lung, there is stomach. 
Now near the anterior portion of the lung there is the presence of pleura, ribs, intercostal muscle, internal thoracic arteries and the veins. Near the posterior surface of the lung there is the presence of pleura, ribs and the posterior thoracic wall. Medially there is the presence of the pleura, the root of lung, the pericardium, the heart, the mediastinum, the thymus and the trachea. At last the lateral surface, so near the lateral surface there is the presence of pleura, ribs and the thoracic wall. Now let's discuss about the arterial supply of the lungs where we can talk about the arteries which is connected or giving supply to the lungs. So first one it is the bronchial branches of the aorta. The second one is the bronchial branches of the posterior intercostal arteries. And the third one is the bronchial branches of the subclavian arteries. Now let's discuss about the vein drainage where we can see which veins are draining the blood from the lungs. In right lung there is a right bronchial vein. As it is in the left lung there is left bronchial vein. The third one is the pulmonary vein. Now we will discuss about the lymphatic drainage of the lungs. As you can note that the lymphatic drainage it is occurred by the presence of node. So in the right lungs there is first upper that is the right tracheal node. The second is the middle and also called the tracheal and the tracheobranchial nodes. And the lower one is called the tracheobranchial nodes. Now about the left lung. So in the left lung there is two portion upper and the lower portion. So in the upper portion there is the left tracheal and anterior intestinal node. The lower is tracheobronchial node. Let's talk about the nerve supply. So first is the pulmonary plexus which is the branch of vagus nerve and the sympathetic trunk. At the last where is the function of the lungs. So please listen it carefully because it is important as the anatomical part. So there are two type of function. The first is the respiratory function and the second is non-respiratory function. So in the respiratory function there is gases exchange and in the non-respiratory function there is participating in metabolism. The maintaining of the acid base balance in the organism. The participating in phagocytosis by the alveolar macrophages. Convergence of angiotensinogen into the angiotensin first. And the last function of the non-respiratory function is the conversion of angiotensinogen into the angiotensinogen first. Friends, we finished the topic of the topography of lungs. So thank you for watching this video. And if you have any suggestion, please write it in the comment box.